Hi, I'm Shelby Thornton reporting for Bass City Beat, and I'm here at the Anton Art Center where the Macomb County Student Art Show is taking place. Students from across Macomb County have their creative artwork on display for you to enjoy. The Student Art Show has a long history here at the Art Center. It's um, been around for about 30 years. It started when a group of Art Center supporters decided that there was a need to recognize student artwork, and so they raised the money to give away prizes, and they promoted the show, and they asked teachers to submit students' work. And it's an honor to be chosen, well, for my artwork to be chosen to be a part of the Student Art Show, because I work very hard now. I invested a lot of my time into my art pieces, and to see it actually hanging up on the walls in the art show, you know, it's, it's an honor. This year's Student Art Show featured hundreds of pieces of art, all of which were especially selected by teachers throughout Macomb County. For grades K-6, through teachers are allowed to submit one piece of original artwork for each grade level. For 7th to 12th grade, there was no limit on how much artwork was submitted, but only about 150 pieces were accepted to be put on display at the Student Art Show. A very remarkable honor. Some of them win uh, ribbons. Some of them win, win prizes. We give out two $500 prizes. One is a $500 cash prize that goes to the best of show. That's the single best piece of work in the show. Another is a $500 scholarship that goes to the senior with the best portfolio, so the best body of work. And that's to encourage that person to go on and pursue a study in art at the uh, college level. Art makes me feel like I'm somebody, you know. Um, it makes me feel you know, good inside, you know. It makes me feel like I can draw things out and express the way I feel, you know, through like pencil and paper or any other medium. They work on these pieces for hours and they don't want to part with them. But a lot of the works are priced for sale. You'll see that in the K through 6 gallery. A lot of them are 10 or $15, uh, especially the photographs are generally priced for sale. And we've sold three pieces already from the show. So those kids are realizing that their artwork is worth some money. People are willing to pay for it. They make a little bit of money. And people realize that you know, there is actually commercial value in art. While looking around at the Art Center, I had the opportunity to see all kinds of creative pieces and different forms of art. There was so much imagination, expression, time, and hard work put into all of the artwork that was on display. Congratulations to all the students that had their artwork on display at the Student Art Show. Each of your talents truly were unique and expressed who you are. I'm not a verbally expressed type of guy, so I have to put it on pencil and paper to get my expressions across. And a lot of people think that it's just um, the medium that they see, but they don't know that it's uh, feelings and expressions that uh, lie beneath. The student show has a huge impact, actually, on pretty much every population. The public gets to see what great work students are doing. They get to see that skills really do develop over time and with practice, and I think people become more supportive of arts education when they see the development of student work grade by grade. The students themselves get to have experience with their work exhibited in a professional gallery. As you can see, art comes in a variety of forms, and we have many aspiring artists right here in Macomb County. So make sure you stop by the Anton Art Center to see their artwork through May 3rd. For Bass City Beat, I'm Shelby Thornton.